<clears throat> Hello boys and girls and welcome to the new format of the <laughs> whole situation. This is something I'm thinking to use when I need to um, explain and make schematics and stuff like this. Any sort of graphics, any sort of imagery, you see this is how it works. So I'm pretty psyched slash emotional about this. I don't know how it will work out, if it will work out, but I feel there's data to be shared and this is my attempt at sharing it. Today we'll be doing... Uh, oh, this works nice. If I just uh, unload my stress on uh, random art, then uh, I'll probably not be so jagged in my speaking. So today we are looking at, um, I guess, my first case study. It's just what happened, how we met, and what happened so far. And I hope that by explaining my, my thought process and observations, um, I'll make things clearer in terms of how I see magic and energy flows and network and intuition and so on and so forth. So, um, if you want to get this, you'll probably have to bear with me, especially during the first case studies, because I don't know how much information I can bring into a video like this and still make sense. Um, okay, let's just get into it. A couple of days ago, I met this girl in her group in the park. Uh, where there's this huge sphere that you can climb with ropes. So it's a sphere with many ropes and you can climb on it. And I just went up there because it's a good monkey activity to sort of get out of the head, just use the limbs, the arms. If you're not careful, you can fall down and break your neck. It's, it's pretty good. And I kind of felt a vibe, a nice vibe between uh, the girl and myself. Her voice was quite nice probably ovulating I'm gonna say probably that there was a more electric uh, vibe in the air than usual this was evening by the way and she had two guys with her two buddies let's say two dude buddies platonic kind of ish as much as guys and girls can be platonic and one of them was in my opinion a full-on just wuss trembling, shaky voice, you know, the, the usual. And the other one was a bit more aggressive, so not necessarily a wuss, but certainly um, not a guy I'd like to hang out with too much, or, or at all, actually. Because they, the pattern that they had among themselves was just um, exchanging negative signals, the girl, the girl and this guy. They just call each other names, like funny in a sort of funny way, but it was all negative. Like, you're fat, you're ugly, you're stupid, you're ta-da-da. It would just go, it would just go back and forth, back and forth. Um, we have three dudes here. Well, I'll probably have a, need another uh, drawing. So anyway, um, I liked the girl, and I thought she was interesting, and so we made contact. I made contact with the group, and I just... Yeah, we just started doing, I, I started doing my thing, just showed them my drawings, and we spoke about them, and yeah. The, hell, let's, let's name these guys, let's, let's go with the flow here. I guess, we'll make this one the girl. <laughs> I don't know where this goes. Again, I am really, really uh, winging it here. Let's see. <laughs> this is the girl. <laughs> oh my god. The, the professionalism level of this video stream will be absolutely amazing. People will take seminars to learn this stuff pretty soon. <laughs> oh my god, this is epic. Um, reminds me of um, Electric Retard, the webcomic where the creator said um, Photoshop is for pussies. Uh, real men use Microsoft Paint, so <laughs> I think we're seeing a, um, a second take on that, like this is <laughs> gonna be something like that. So this is the girl, okay, the blue haired situation is the girl. Let's say um, this is the wuss, 
and this is I'm gonna give him teeth because he's more aggressive this is the asshole guy like this so la, 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 la. oh man this actually works okay so this is the asshole guy this is now to my mind um, these two had something going on between them even though it wasn't conscious let's see like these two they weren't in a couple or anything explicit like that but there was a lot of connection and it was like the, the weird kind let's say make this red it was just a lot of back and forth uh, what can I say just cursing man <laughs> cursing and insulting shooting shooting the shit um, I kind of get how that would work I, I mean I'm an asshole as well sometimes um, anyway so it's these guys so the wuss said uh, these two wanted to leave but the wuss said hey I'm, I want to hang out um, the guy is, is still cool it's kind of cool uh, he's talking about me so I made my entry into the group I'm gonna make myself like violet because I'm magical La, 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 la. let's say this is me right here la, 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 la. oh my god I look amazing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is epic um, can this even be improved in any way probably not I think it's perfect as it is this is me now I had short hair at the time and I still do but I'm gonna say this is the awesomeness just shining through <laughs> so uh, <laughs> they felt the awesomeness shining through and this guy said uh, yeah, he's gonna stick around and yeah basically I just made my entry into the group this is the aura the epic electromagnetic aura thing that I have around me because Jesus and La, 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 la. Okay, so I'm at the group and I made my scan of the situation and saw that they're kind of exchanging tactile signals with each other, though they're, I mean, nobody's kissing anybody, there's no explicit boyfriend, girlfriend, anything, but it's like there's, there's stuff going on. So I Oh man, this oh, Jesus Lord! <laughs> this format, I'm so I'm so jagged with this. I'm sorry, but it's it's new to me. Uh, I walked him home. Um, we exchanged contact numbers, contact things, Facebook, and then that was the end of it for then. Um, I said hi, and oh, what I was developing there really nicely was that I was contacting this girl's, let's say imagination and and more metaphorical thing uh, through symbols like like this like uh, these guys all three of them were studying at a um, like a religious thing like a religious school and they weren't there because they had massive faith in Jesus or anything they just all three of them said they just ended up there it wasn't their their thing but yeah they were all religious but the girl was I mean, a religious girl studying a, um, religious at a religious school it was kind of a kinky vibe for me because I figured if she is with with Jesus then I have to be with the devil and here be my horns if we're speaking about the stuff I guess these are my horns and the epicness of them shall be legendary and amazing and people will sing songs of them but um, we started making these awesome jokes about doing things on an altar like a church altar so things got kind of sexual in the way we were speaking the innuendos and all that and um, boy this is amazing <laughs> soul format I'm still getting used to it Okay, 
Next thing that happened is that a couple of days passed. Um, and now today she writes to me. So I'm getting that the, the seeds that I planted, the good vibes planted on that evening, the, all the cheering and the howling and the high energy sounds and all that stuff started to sort of bear fruit. And yeah, she wrote and okay, let's hang out. And we had this conversation on Facebook and like I could feel the connection and she could feel the connection. A lot of hearts flying around, a lot of um, just like it was on. Like there wasn't multiple conversations on her end like people do when they're not quite interested or they're just scatterbrained. Nothing like that. It was really back and forth, connected, one-on-one, -on -one, really nice. And we got to speaking about... Um, so I showed her my standard drawings. I showed her things like... I don't know if I should be looking at the, the conversation while was spoken and what not. Like she, I showed her this, for instance. Are we seeing it? Okay, <clears throat> okay, I showed her this. So she mentioned that uh, she's seeing water and a few nice characters coming out of the water, and they're nice characters. That's what she said. Um, and that was the, the most relevant to me, that she said things are coming out of the water, which in a philosophical sense you could say that all the young things come out of the yin, if you think about the yin and yang. All the things, all the shaped things come from the unshaped Tao, right? The energy, the life force. Anyway. She mentioned that the the characters that I made here were nice, and so if she's have if she's having a positive emotional experience with me and my art and all that, I could I could say yeah, it's it's going pretty well. I asked about her feelings on uh, water, and she said, well, I mean, I asked, do you like to swim in water? Are you afraid of it? You're afraid of deep water? What's the situation there? And she said. Um, I like clean water, like it's very important to me that it's clean water, I don't like dirty water, she said these words. This is quite relevant and, and special to me because it means certain symbolic things beyond just the mere sense of water. So she said she likes um, clean water, not dirty, kind of afraid of deep water, so must be rather shallow and controlled, at least at first. And she doesn't like the sea, she said. So I would guess this would have to be uh, sweet water, not salty water. So we started um, so, sort of doing a, a back and forth of uh, all kinds of images of... Um, I was basically looking to find what she may like. Let me find some images here. So we just did back and forth. With images, I would find uh, lakes that look nice, and we'd just go back and forth. She'd, she'd send some, I'd send some, and so on. But it was like water was a very important theme to all this. So if we just look at, um, well, where are we? Hold on, still getting my bearings here with, with what's happening on the screen. Uh, If we look at Carl Gustav Jung's um, interpretation of water, if we look at this stuff, right, right here, well, let's see. So this is this is like the subconscious here, right, under the water. The human, the conscious mind is here. The subconscious is here. The monster. Like, how do you feel about water? Well. It kind of represents how you feel about your subconscious, which is the, the fish under the water. And if you're afraid of it, if you're afraid of your own thing, of um, your own beast, your own animal, you're going to be afraid of uh, symbols that represent that, be it insect, animal, deep water, darkness, anything like that. Anything where the subconscious can basically give you what's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, if you don't have issues with this thing, with your subconscious, you won't have issues with pretty much anything. 
So anyway, we are here in this realm of talking symbols. And she says she, she needs clean water, not salty. We made, a, we made a connection and so on. And then she gives me um, this image, which I think is relevant. Hold on, let me find it. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Man, I hope you're still watching, looking, anybody, somebody. <laughs> oh, this is some of the nice um, this is some of the nice stuff that we've been looking at together. Like water represented in this way that it's it's both natural here and artificial here. So you have salt water, which I may like and um, <clears throat> sweet water which she may like more controlled artificial everything is like this here more static and this is with more waves and something that I would like for my animal and so on so out of these images we just pasted um, we just posted back and forth let's see la, 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 la. this kind of stuff <clears throat> this kind of stuff so you get the point. A lot of talking about water. A lot of let's see some of hers. I think these are these were mine, but this is like hers. So she she sent this and basically expressed what kind of water she'd feel safe in. Um, now in psychological terms, water also has to do with connection because water. I mean, it has to do with electric connection and also with sex, with intimacy. Like, what kind of a relationship would you like? Where it's kind of like this, not too hardcore, too fast. She may not be that experienced or have all kinds of bad experiences from other boyfriends or who knows. Um, but in any case, there was this very visual communication. And <clears throat> what happened is she gave me at one point this particular image, which I find quite interesting. This image right here. Let's see it bigger. So you have this image. And I read a lot of stuff in this image. And what I'm seeing here, so how I analyze images symbolically, is the following. I'm seeing her wish for nature to get back to a natural self, to get back to just leaving all inhibitions and rules and everything, and just... Um, Getting back to this tree, this, this, well, nature, greenery, natural stuff, just to be, in one sense, magical again, and in other sense, to be like an animal again, like a, like a child again, right? Just let go, let go everything you've learned, and so on. But between the, uh, the, uh, the viewer of this image, so from where this picture is taken up these stairs to the water, you see these metal vertical things, these rails that look a lot like bars, like prison bars or cage bars. So you have this element of something being caged, like a, a caged bird. So the access is not free and direct from here to there. It's not a photo of somebody on a beach with, with um, toes in the water, nothing like that. This is, this is very dry here. You see this on the top of the stairs it's dry and it's also rigid in the sense of uh, square rectangular artificial it's just to a lot of rules you see everything is just measured and it has to be just right and there is a path basically a journey from here to there and the what the image speaks of just a simple image is um, can you take the road from here to there with me can you take me from where I'm now, here, behind these bars, into that place there, which I want to get to? That's the question. And I guess every boy-girl interaction is something like this. Um, it's the journey back into water, to a spring, back to clean water, hopefully. So we spoke this, and I, to me that's a pretty deep connection to make, to understand somebody from an image like this. Um, there were more. I'll, I'll share some just for the heck of it. So this is another thing she posted, like this. So you can you get the point. 
this is a, a girl looking for her natural self again a strong tree which to me um, as you may know symbolizes many things a tree to me is um, the kundalini tree this kind of thing comes out of the kundalini snake this is the tree the, the, the physical manifestation of the kundalini energy is the human body the spine and anybody who's familiar at all with my shenanigans will know that the tree has to do with the spine you have a, an animal at the base the kundalini snake and a human on top the human head here and between them you have the spine and the tree this image is quite interesting expression of this so the brain as the, the crown of the tree and the spine as the trunk another thing is to me uh, the tree is um, the electromagnetic field around the body in a certain sense because it, it happens like the, the tree is this process of taking things up from the root to the top and spreading it the, our electromagnetic field does the same thing the circular motion of going upwards and spreading and then coming back so we have this toroidal field um, and to me the tree represents that let me see if I can find more screen real estate here to make this happen so this kind of thing the toroidal field with the human at the center um, this kind of thing this kind of thing boy this is a <laughs> low quality resolution but you get the point and we're connected by these fields so when a girl sends me a picture of a tree I get that she means not just a physical tree that I want to hang out in nature she may mean many other things that's why I thought it's important to make case studies because I get to explain the longer process and things like this for instance is another image now that I look at it in more depth I haven't before now that I look at it in more depth you can see this is a journey together so this is a road are we seeing this by the way um, this is a road that's uh, surrounded on both sides by healthy trees nice colors stuff like this so okay um, given all this I'm asking and we're, we're speaking on Facebook and I'm asking um, or she asked me what I'm doing and I say I'm going to the park later um, and she says she's going as well and we start to form this plan of going together now in my mind since the vibes are really good I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this girl to my place of clean water which is the spring where I take my drinking water from which is in the forest it's it's really close to the park so it's quite safe I mean, it wouldn't feel like uh, 20 minutes going around with a weird guy uh, she just met. It's just really close to the park. It's just where the forest starts. And the house is nearby, so it's, it's not a, the middle of nowhere kind of place. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll meet this girl. She's coming out today. And we're going to go and have a journey. We're going to go and have basically the sacred journey of boy and girl going to water, which is quite... You know out there um, and we set this up you know we we everything is intertwined and intermingled with each other the stories about the um, making we it was an unspecified what would be happening on the church altar because I kept um, s sending these innuendos that we would we we're gonna bake pies like really these traditional Romanian pies with cheese and sour cream and just things that a, that, that a pig would like to stick its face into the sort of food like erotic food situation that gets your brain going and you know it's kind of sexual but not explicit so it's, it's still metaphorical and storytelling and all that that is mixed with the water and it's all good right it's all in the air like in theory um i mean in that conversation we had basically a date we will meet at the park and go for this awesome day together and it's all set right i'm gonna do some painting and in, in two or three hours i'm whatever two hours i'm gonna go out and she's gonna come out and we'll meet and, and we'll do this 
And then she <laughs> asks uh, back to these guys. Um, I kept sort of making fun of her that she's sort of with. The, I asked. I mean, are you guys together? Right. When just when I met her, within two minutes of ask of meeting them as a group, I asked, "Are you guys together?" And this guy that was said, yeah, and then she said, no, we're not together, what the hell, no, we're not. They both said, they were both basically appalled at the implication of them being together. But they, I mean, there was a lot of communication just between them. So I know active connection when I see it, right, even if it's just with junk, junk signals. So then she asks me, can this guy <laughs> come with us, right? Now again, I am in this context. I am in uh, this context, right? I'm in. I'm in. Oh man, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I'm in this context, right? The sacred journey of guy and girl go to water, um, and she's asking me, um, can this not very smart guy that all he knows is how to curse and use foul language and, and bullshit, can he come with us? Um, now one thing I haven't mentioned is that this guy um, met me after I said goodbye to the whole group that evening. He just randomly bumped into me while I was in a different park, different group, different place. And <clears throat> uh, I didn't like him because he, like, space is quite important to all birds, to me included. And you don't do weird guy on guy interactions like bumping in against each other, uh, rubbing shoulders like this by mistake. I mean, drunks do this a lot, and smokers may do this a lot. But to me, that signals you're basically um, stealing energy and sending out annoyance. Um, I've seen dogs of smokers actually do this more than dogs of non smokers. Um, it's it's really something quite important. So when that guy came to basically say hi, but instead of walking and shaking my hand, he just brushed against me from the back. It was really weird. I figured, hey, this is a guy. Uh, it, you're just getting more and more on my bad side. And now when she asks me, hey, we've made an awesome date, an awesome connection. Uh, I mean, plans for an awesome date. Can this guy come with with us? I'm like, no, this is bullshit. Like. What do you mean? Like, hey, come with me and I'll show you a nice place. Or go with your group, but don't mix the whole thing. I mean, we'll... Yeah. And I told her that I don't like the guy because he didn't... He just went all over my personal space that one time, which is, for me, it's plenty. It means if you're once an idiot and I don't know you, that's... Until proven otherwise, you're, you're an idiot. And... And she says, well, because... We spoke about going out today, but these are her friends. These are like, uh, she goes out with these guys probably almost every day. And I mean, are you, what I'm saying is, are you looking for something new because you just met me? I mean, she wrote me. I didn't write her. She, she wrote to me that she wanted to connect. Are you looking for, for getting to water and nice things and all that? Or are you looking for spending time in the middle of your gibberish uh, group with two low energy males that's the question are you going to do the high thing or the low thing and i showed her this image which is quite important to me hold on hold on we're getting there almost there <laughs> oh. man how long will this video be that's that's my my question so there's one very important image here that needs to be seen. La, 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 la. Bear with me while I find it. Bear with me. The right to bear arms. <laughs> oh Jesus, I can't find anything like this. I'm used to things being a certain way. Okay, this drawing. This to me is a highly important drawing. Should probably correct this stuff here because it's just noise. Oh, no, it's more noise. Yeah. Okay, you get the point. This drawing. 
la 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 la. Okay. Uh, this is the same girl, actually. It's a drawing I made about a very early interaction months ago, but I think it's really good. It really applies. Uh, a good thing to add here might be alcohol, beer. So what I'm saying is that the bird game implies um, empathic energy exchanges, signals and so on, and dancing and singing and being in vibe together, in tune together, and really expanded, now it's yellow, I don't know if you can see it, like really expanded electromagnetic fields together. So big auras, big EM fields when we're in joy and in, in happy times here, right? Um, but this is rather risky. So getting together with a high energy male is of course emotionally risky because what if you're not up to the up to the task? The high energy guy will go away. Same for girls, right? High energy go. So just a high energy partner, let's say. The low situation is um, generally this here when you have a guy that's sort of safe and you can just spend time together and be physically close together in the same emote. Um, EM field together, close range, and if this guy is a moron or easy to like pussy whip and just keep around, and he, he's not really bright, I mean, he's not that touchy about certain things, you can use foul language and fucked up shit with him, it's fine, um, maybe he smokes, maybe he drinks, maybe both, uh, maybe he's a gamer, he just does the blah thing, just low energy crap. Well, if you spend time there, basically he'll draw you to his level. Um, another thing I believe is this. So you have the low energy here and you can notice the low uh, aura and um, I don't know if you can see this, but the guy's kind of sad. He doesn't really have much going for him. It's just, it is what it is. And that's the low version. So here you have the cigarettes, you have the booze, you have the sugar, you have the crappy junk food and all that. Here you have the different things. Here you have the meditation and you have the, the good food, attention to, to detail, attention to uh, signals, attention to vocabulary, to self, to air, to all that stuff, right? So I'm saying that from my perspective, because I, I follow what girls do, every girl has a choice between this kind of males. And I've seen a pattern that goes on a lot that they will hang out with something like this, like more a more of a low energy wussy male during non-ovulation periods and then go for the high thing, especially in ovulation times. And they'll of course fluctuate over time like as you grow as a person you learn to be more and more high energy hopefully or you, of course if you go for for the morons you can start high and end up low uh, but basically it's a choice and you can in my opinion like what's safest for them is to be here with the safe guy the guy they know with the familiar and if they can get me to bring all my energy here and they'll do something which I call energy steal, uh, which is basically when a high energy male like this triggers your your own energy into dance, into expression, into art, into, into all that. Well, basically, if there's nothing else around, these two energies play play off each other. I give to you, you give to me. There's a circle going on, right? There's there's a circle, and it just keeps going up. Now this will trigger fears, this will trigger all, trigger all kinds of things. Um, any sort of impurities we have inside, any sort of crap like this, it will get triggered when we push, push energy through here. So from the base of the spine upwards. So um, that's rather difficult, that's, that's, the <clears throat> that's the sacred game here, in my opinion. This is the sacred game, the male-female sacred game. But there is a different version. Um, if she can get me to keep spending energy on her shitty group, so basically keep trying to waste energy to impress her or to get her attention when she gives just all her stuff to her group, then there's something like this going on. This is what I call energy steal. Let's see. 
I hope this is visible. This is, and this was done actually by, after a, a real life interaction in the same park I was there uh, when I met when I met these people. So, Energy Steel is a girl that's basically glued to a wuss. They're not together. They may or may not be together. It doesn't matter, really. What it matters is, is that she's a girl, she's female, and this is a male. And any sort of energy you, you bring into this whole interaction, it will not raise the female's energy into what we said before. It will, in fact, she will just discharge everything, not back into you to make a circle, but into this guy, into this wuss. So there's a sort of positive energy that a male human, that a, that a male body creates and a female body creates. And when these two, so positive to positive, when they come into play together, um, they start forming feelings, they start forming all kinds of things. This guy, if he's a wuss, if he's maybe too young, maybe he's just full of cigarettes and stress and crap, he's, he has very little of this energy. So basically it's very, very safe for this female if she can um, attract a high energy male and keep the low energy wuss around and just discharge everything into him because this way she's acting pretty much like a tube it's like I'm basically charging up her guy that's what I'm doing if, if I spend time with this constellation here by constellation I mean these two guys together unsplit on anything so since I <laughs> I got wind of this process that girls will try to just be safe and try to draw me into their bullshit like this I found ways to just say no <laughs> because I feel that the the proper way for me to teach to teach this guy anything is well he can hire me pay me if he's a wuss and I'm awesome then fine I'll teach you but you know I'm being your coach pay me for my time and energy um, or I can teach the girl my awesome stuff one on one which will probably mean connection which will probably mean romance and who knows what else and then if she wants to still spend time with this idiotic wuss anymore big if but that's her choice then she can give her my energy um, and my wisdom and my all that stuff but on her own time if that makes sense now the thing is that this guy is depleted so electrically depleted and basically if I if I send this girl so we meet we interact and I leave her and she's high energy and she goes and just depletes to this gives everything to this wuss and comes back depleted. I may do this once, twice, three times, but if I see it's a process, if it's just instead of bringing energy back and giving me some of that energy that's between us, instead if it's just giving to some wuss, giving to some wuss, just losing it, she can't manage energy, energy well, then I won't be interested. I won't be interested in this, in this female anymore. Um, and I'm sure she'll have the same going with me. If, if all I do is take energy from our common interaction together and go and come back all depressed and angry and messed up, and argh, she won't like me anymore. Because obviously I'm doing something here where I'm, I'm, my life is not really balanced. But anyway, what ended up happening is she, she just said, um, well, I mean, it's the whole group. It's not just this guy. It's it's both guys, and we had this plan together. And I don't want to disappoint them. And can we all meet? And I said, well, I mean, you're <laughs> you're you're doing this thing where you just you're saying you want to get to nice water and nice places and have fun things happen on an altar, but actually, what you're saying that verbally which is a magical thing, it's like expressing intent, but then when it comes time for action, you want to just spend time where you feel safe in the same group of basically two idiots. I didn't call them two idiots, but it was kind of implied that it's they're non, <laughs> non too smart. Um, but I said, okay, I said, I'll meet you guys there. And I told her to pay attention to what idiots do basically, which is interrupting. Like if I'll ask any sort of meaningful question, and await an answer to that and I do ask really deep questions sometimes basically what she can expect and I told her to be mindful of this that one of these two other guys will look to interrupt her before she's had a time to make an opinion and answer yes or no or answer anything 
you know what do you think about this drawing oh I like this drawing what do you like about it and people have to look and they need a few seconds of uninterrupted thinking time to formulate an opinion and if there's even one proper idiot in that group they will not get it um, so I told her just be mindful of this that I'll that will connect and will talk and one of these guys especially if there's interesting questions in the air will come to interrupt you will not get you a chance to think to formulate your own answer and all that so we got there um, and I was basically on the road from here from my house to the park I was well I got quite emotional because I, I felt the high energy of the the plans we made earlier that day earlier today actually um, the whole thing with going to water going to nice places it was like a, a really good this is like what I imagine an ideal date would be like people meet and they make a plan and hey let's go let's do this okay are you fine with this yeah are you fine with the location yeah are you fine with the timing yes and then if at the end of all the date planning the girl asks oh can I bring my idiot with me or maybe if I ask hey can I bring my ex-girlfriend with me we're not together anymore but can I bring her to tag along and just to ruin things and keep energy down that's a downer that's to me it's a big downer that's a no romance situation <laughs> pretty much um, and it turns out that she met them and she spent a good one or two hours in their company so really getting that energy down really getting to their level their dumb idiotic level right here this is the low energy talking all the time gibberish spent voices mumbling just mumbling crap okay um, but the thing is I showed her that drawing with the cigarette guy that I posted before um, so I showed her this drawing I didn't show her this one for instance the energy steel but oh wherefore art thou this one so I showed her this one and I, I said you know it's it's a choice you make like this is your group and you can make whatever choice you want but if you want nice places they're kind of here and I'm saying um, it's not possible to go to new places while still clinging to the old group you can do one or the other but not both at the exact same time so anyway we go to the park and the worst guy like <laughs> this guy I mean I see them when I got to the park I was I had tears down my uh, eyes I wasn't sad I wasn't crying but maybe from the wind but there was there were some moments of I just felt loss like there was this nice romantic date forming up and then it just yeah girl does goes and does oh yeah no I'm gonna sit with my other people we're just gonna sit here and do nothing so <laughs> I get to the park I feel like god damn it do I even want to see this girl anymore what am I gonna do with she's instead of a date now we're having a, a we're meeting and there's two more idiots there what now <laughs> you know it's like what the fuck is this fuck my life <laughs> and I get there and I see it's a Sunday, it's the park is full, and I'm I hear them shouting and waving and shouting my name because they're there. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this. I wanna go and do what I always do, just be on the grass and listen to network, how it plays, and, and maybe find some new people who can actually follow through on a date, hopefully. So anyway, it was a pretty weird uh meeting and we ended up I didn't speak to anybody whoops wrong drawing I didn't speak to to almost any of them the wuss had a super wussy voice the other guy was mumbling just the kind of people I don't don't want to have anything to do with um, so <laughs> I just told them I need a break I need like half an hour of meditation or something they didn't quite get what I was saying but I went and just I just went away from their group and sat on the grass and then they followed me came around me 
asked if I can if they can sit down around me and I said yes so then we made this drawing I mean I took I didn't say much to anybody I was just breathing I took out my sketchbook and I started drawing and everything that you see with red like this pink or whatever this color is is made by me um, and I gave them all pens I gave uh, her a pen and I gave the, the dudes a pen I, I just show them my, my collection of pens and everybody could choose and draw with. Nobody did anything. Um, I drew this whole thing, the hill with the tree and um, yeah, just grass or whatever this is. And she just kept saying, I don't know, I don't know, oh, I don't know what to draw. Oh, which, is, which is very um, typical of when people are electrically spent. Okay, when, when instead of a big like body voltage and electromagnetic field, instead of a big, huge aura around you, you have just a small thing because you've blabbered it all away. You've been eyes open in a group of blabbers, just dumb idiots, just blabbering at you and you blabbering back at them. Everything is bleh. The whole uh, neural network is electrically spent. There's very little connections, very little energy. You look around for ideas and there's nothing there. It's just, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. And eventually she made this heart. And I made this other stuff from it. And actually I told her in the conversation that what I do is I watch the distances. Because she kept saying we're not together. Uh, this guy and her. We're not together. Like, he's not my boyfriend. We're not, we're not together. But in practice, I've only seen them together. And when we, when we tried to make any sort of a date happen, she brought them along, right? She could have canceled on their plans. I'm just, hey, meet, meet me tomorrow or whatever. But no, she wanted to bring him, them along. And now the way she sat down is she sat next to them and facing me. So she sat at about one meter in front of me. And this is what I drew here that <clears throat> these guys were making electric contact here. So as I said with the energy steel, I don't know if you can see it, but this is precisely the energy steel situation. Um, <clears throat> I should probably rename this actually so I can find it easier. Energy steel, energy steel. Yeah, maybe after this video. I just have a ton of images and but anyway so I drew this right I told her I, I don't care what you say verbally like if you say oh we're not together what I do is follow energy I follow electrons and if your electrons go onto him and him onto you if you guys are depleting each other by just making this constant electric contact I know what's what, you know, you're doing energy steel with these guys. You're not going to any water with me. You're trying to bring your whole bunch of idiots to mess up my water hole. Anyway, <coughs> a much more important thing is here. Because this is the guy next to her. This is basically uh, this particular wuss guy here. So not the guy she was saying nasty stuff to all the time. But this other guy with really wussy voice. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, she asked him, like, hey, can't you draw something? And he said, um, well, I can draw a beer. Like, the only thing I, got, I can draw is a beer. So he expressed his, himself. He expressed his signal, as birds do. Like, his... This is beer in Romanian, by the way. Jesus, man. He expressed his signal. Um, he's a beer guy. He's alcohol guy. Okay. Okay. I'm having a weird case of the hiccups, but anyway. Now, if we go back to this image. And what she said, that she needs clean water. This actually means the water inside the human body as well. should be quite obvious that a guy that drinks alcohol, and if you give him a piece... Jesus, man. <laughs> if, you, if you give him a piece of paper, and his first and only thought about what to draw is beer, 
that is like like whoa <sighs> not sure what to do I should probably stop this and deal with my whole pickup situation Hold on. yeah I have the hiccups well I'm gonna stop this and make a new video this has been definitely fun but I do need a break